what better way than to start your huga moment than by adding the right lighting In creating a huga moment you want to create a nice soft delicate ambiance to set the mood to create a nice relaxing space and a retreat just think about low lighting candlelit lighting by the fireplace The concept of huga comes from well-being, to comfort, to console, joy, peace. In doing that, you can, you know, improve your wellness and you're able to relax and melt the stress of everyday life away. And this is what is a common um, practice in Norwegian, Danish culture, and Scandinavian culture to create a lifestyle that promotes well-being. And that's what I'm trying to do here. In Hoover, they use a lot of textured items like textured blankets, candles, and wood items to create a nice warm and cozy space. Because think about where they are. It's cold. A lot of times they may not get a lot of, um, you know, days or sunlight. So, you know, what better way to enjoy their indoors or the indoors by creating a warm and cozy lifestyle indoors. And when I think about Huga, I think about, you know, being able to relax in a nice log cabin. Um, that's just my perfect idea of what Huga is to me or the concept of huga for well-being. Okay, you guys, so when creating a huga moment, it's all about eating and having comfort food and things like um, maple and brown sugar bread. Some people choose to have um, things like cinnamon bread. I'm using maple and brown sugar bread today. And also I'm gonna have like a hot cup of tea. You can also have things like hot cocoa and things just to calm you and relax you. So whatever, warm drink that is whether it's warm apple cider or things of that nature that is what huga is about warm comfortable cozy think of that when you're eating comfort foods to relax As I prepare my tea, you all let me know in the comment section, do you have something similar to Huga moments in your own culture? 
what do you do to create um, wellness and well-being um, relaxation in your culture leave it down in the comment section below I would love to hear you all's ideas and what you do to relax All right, you guys, so I'm going to conclude my huga moment with reading my book, actually. I am an author. Um, this book can help you with stress and melt away the tough moments of life. It, it definitely is an inspirational book, so if you want to get my book, you can check it out on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. And basically, I'm just going to conclude my huga moment with my hot, steaming, tea and my maple and brown sugar bread and I'm just gonna melt away into this heated blanket on the couch I hope you all enjoy this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon on the next video As I said previously, I hope you guys enjoyed my Huga inspired video on how to create a Huga moment. If you like this video, as I said before, definitely subscribe to the channel and make sure you stay tuned for my um, next up and coming video um, as far as home decor and how to create a lot of these different moments in your own lifestyle on this, you know, on this channel I'll be showing you guys that. Excuse me, I don't want to get tongue twisted. But definitely subscribe and make sure you check out my home decor playlist and I will see you all soon on the next video.